the parliament today passed the GST Amendment Bill 2017. This bill in particular deals with the changes that the 52nd GST Council had already approved. Now, the 52nd GST Council back on October 7th had approved that uh, the appointment uh, or the age limit for the uh, judicial members, particularly the president and the judicial member, would be extended. For president, it would be extended from 67 to 70 years of age. And for judicial member, it would be extended from 65 to 67 years of age. Secondly, the appointment of a judicial member. Now, the council also approved that any advocate with a practicing experience of 10 years with the bar can apply for the role of a uh, judicial member. So this is about the eligibility criteria. Now, Post the GST Council's approval, this has now come to be amended into the CGST law. After this particular one, which was passed today in the Lok Sabha, what remains now is the selection process. Now, the Chief Justice of India, who actually, in fact, highlighted the discrepancy for the age limit extension and the eligibility criteria with regards to the Tribunal Reform, uh, Reforms Act, sorry, has also agreed to chair such a search and selection committee and has appointed uh, senior judge Justice Sanjeev Kumar to also head this selection and search committee. Now, speaking in the parliament, uh, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman also spoke on many of the contemporary GST issues, one of which was that the central government was uh, very attuned to the concerns of MSMEs and ensured that PSUs, the central PSUs, were paying their dues to them. This was also a budget announcement, but she further said that state PSUs must also follow the same. Uh, taxing for online gaming, well, the finance minister clarified that for winnings, the taxation would be prospective. So this also adds a little more clarity to the ongoing issue. And, um, you know, lastly, if we are really looking at the quorum, now what we're looking forward to is one principal bench in New Delhi and uh, subse subsequent state benches as per the states ask for it. The principal bench will have one president, one uh, judicial member, one technical member from the state and one technical member from the center. The state benches, however, will have two judicial members, one technical member from the state and one technical member from the center. That's all you needed to know about the latest bill amendment.